Child hunger has many faces. I think people associate child hunger with very rural inner city kids. We live in a town that's very affluent but also has its lower income areas that seem to be bypassed for a lot of things. Do I pay my rent? Do I put food in the refrigerator? Do I have gas money for my car to get to work? Do I have money for the bus or the train to get to work? It's competing needs for survival. You don't have money or resources to pay for the food. So some of the parents have to go out and you know look throughout the community to different food pantries and it's tough. It's, it's tough for the families. It's hard to go to a grocery store and spend $100, walk out with two bags and try to feed six people for an entire month with that. So the Tri-C Way is a great community benefit that we have here in the town of Huntington. It's supported by uh, local funding from the town of Huntington, the state of New York, also Suffolk County, and private grants. And it's really a basis that helps younger people and children go to get the help that they need. We've been in existence for 45 years. We have uh, four or five places within the town of Huntington where people can come for emergency food. Whether it's uh, after school programs, or tutoring sessions, or places that um, help inspire cultural programs or summer programs, the Tri-CYA is there for a resource. At this site, primarily, I would say 95 to 98% of the students that come here and their families live at or below the poverty level. And oftentimes, hunger, it's something that might not get the most attention. The cost of housing, you know, people that have multiple uh, people in the household, they, they have a larger house, most of them have a car, so then you have uh, you gas, you have, have insurance, food becomes not a number one priority, so that, that's why a lot of families become unhealthy, because of the amount of money that they have in the household. A lot of people turn to fast food because number one, it's cheap, and number two, it's easy to get, and it's open up late, and it's a quick fix that kind of fits into their schedules. So I think just for people to know that there are uh, healthy alternatives and healthy choices that they can make, they just need to know how to go about it, how to access the type of healthy foods, and also the time to eat those foods, too, is all very important. We're very grateful for our donors. Oftentimes, the donations are things that are easy for people to make, and we are very, very grateful. I find that we serve a lot of pasta, white flour as opposed to whole wheat. I feel that we could do better with the nutrition, and we're so happy to partner with leadership because they're rebuilding the kitchen. We want to make it more of like a cafe. The Leadership Cafe project which opened up several months ago in the Tri-CYA, and it was helped out by Leadership Huntington and also other organizations, including the Huntington Chamber of Commerce, and they renovated and expanded the kitchen area. That was the Tri-CYA to help make sure that people are instilled with healthy eating habits. It was a great project. It started off as uh, an idea. So first we um, got some resources together, uh, sketch out a plan. Then we actually physically like gutted the counters, spackled. Then painted the walls. At one point we uh, worked with Habitat for Humanity. Habitat helped us with uh, our equipment. Um, we, we got some tables and some supplies. Um, we also had some contractors come in, help us out, and they did a great job as well. And we, we physically hauled the stuff in, we physically, you know, put up walls, we physically put up cabinets, um, and we just came together and, and made the whole um, kitchen area what it is today, and it's, uh, it was a great outcome. So thank you very much for coming, everyone, all of our the leadership board members, um, and a lot of the leadership alumni are here today. It's really nice to see uh, how the community has come together with this project and supported the Tri-CYA and the whole thought process behind this cafe. 
uh, was to have a place where children would learn about eating healthy and nutrition and that good life starts with taking care of yourself. So I just want to thank Leadership Huntington, Stephanie, Vita, and uh, all uh, the class that helped with this. I mean, it really, really looks great in here, and it's going to help uh, with healthy eating and healthy lifestyles, which are very important. And I just want to thank them because this is a great addition here, and you can just feel the energy in the room, and it will be a great asset to the community. So thank you very much, and uh, congratulations. Three, two, one. You don't have to be in the street. You can live in a, a location and still suffer from, you know, hunger. Um, yeah. Healthy food doesn't always have to taste bad. There's a lot of healthy food out there that you can make fun and also good tasting. And I think if people learn how to do a little bit more on their own instead of having to rely on fast food, that'll make a difference too. The best solution is that everyone come together to, to help, to bring awareness to it, educate the families. You know, some of the families that are not educated school, you know, help them go back to school so that way they can get a higher paying job. You know, the issue is important because nutrition is part of our overall health and so many diseases are related to poor nutrition. Obesity, diabetes, these things are prevalent in the communities that we serve and if you could get people eating better, I think that that would really help to improve the quality of life for everyone.